Hi there carpet cleaners, John Williams here and in this video I'm going to show you the secret five-step formula to creating a highly converting special offer for your carpet cleaning business. If you've never heard of me, I'm the owner and founder of AGB and we specialize in digital marketing for the carpet cleaning industry and in general getting carpet cleaners booked out with jobs. We've worked with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of carpet cleaners across the world and continue to do so to this day. And in the last 12 months alone, we spent over $2 million on paid advertising carpet cleaners themselves. So we really, really know what works, what converts. And in this video, I want to share with you some of the things that we've learned so that you can take your carpet cleaning business to the next level as well. So let's dive in with the training, the secret five-step formula to creating a highly converting special offer for your carpet cleaning business that will generate you a bunch of jobs and still remain profitable. The thing is, what a lot of people don't understand is that you actually hold the key to yourself to unlocking thousands and thousands of dollars of potential revenue and new customers for your carpet cleaning business. You just don't realize it. It's hidden in your CRM, on your booking forms and your scheduler. And I'm gonna show you in this training video how to unlock that data and turn it into a highly converting special offer that will bring you an influx of new business while still remaining profitable. Why is a special offer important? I'm sure a lot of you do not like to discount your services. You do not like to undervalue your services. You don't believe in being cheap because it attracts the wrong type of cheap customers, right? In this training, I'm gonna show you how to put together a special offer that does not undervalue your services, that does not put you out as being cheap, that does not attract the wrong type of customers, but in fact has the complete opposite effect it attracts the right kind of customers that people perceive your business as offering and adding value and you being worth the money and wanting to take that next step of your carpet cleaning business. But why is a special offer so important? We live in a world of special offers today. We're surrounded by them in the grocery stores, online, on TV, on the radio, on websites, on Facebook, on Google. Special offers are effectively the fundamental way people market and advertise their business. And it's a fact of the matter that pretty much all businesses in the modern age, big and small, operate in this manner and, and often use special offers to promote their business. And if you wanna have a successful carpet cleaning business, you too should leverage special offers to grow your carpet cleaning business. Because guess what? If you don't, the next guy in your town is going to be running a special and he's going to be taking all of your customers. You know, there's a lot of people out there in the carpet cleaning world that do, you know, price by the square foot and stuff like that. And that's great when you're doing quote requests and stuff, but there's a lot to be said and a lot of dollars to be made by actually having a promotion, by having a special offer, by bundling things up and actually getting people on the hook, getting in the door with those people and then turning them into lifelong repeat business customers. That's pretty much how all business works in the modern age. And if you're not doing it, you're missing out on, like I say, thousands of dollars and tons and tons of new customers every month. And so on this training, like I said, I'm gonna run you through my secret five-step formula to actually put together a special offer that converts, that generates you a ton of business while still remaining profitable, whilst still valuing your services and not being cheap. The key is psychology. A winning special offer is not about slashing your prices in half, as I just mentioned. It's not about giving your services away practically for free, not at all. It's all about psychology. The way that you make a special offer, not only a win for your future customers, and for you, profit-wise and from a business owner perspective, the way that you make this work is by using psychology. It's all about, and here's the operative word, perceived value. So how do we create highly perceived value? We do this by giving your customers exactly, exactly what they want and incorporating some level of a perceived discount and also incorporating 
scarcity. But how do we know what they want? I hear you ask, how do we tap into the minds of your future customers and know exactly what they want and use that to make a special offer so that when people see it, it's almost as if we've read their mind and we're actually, and it's like, wow, this is a great deal. This is exactly what I was looking for. How do we do that? So it's really, really simple. You guys actually hold the keys to knowing what they want. It's all there in your system already. You just gotta tap into it and know where to look. I'm sure most of you have some kind of CRM or booking software to manage your customers, right? Might be Mark 8, maybe House Call Pro. If you do have those kind of softwares, those kind of CRM softwares, I, I imagine most of you do, right, to, to manage your customers, as I just said. I want you to look, dig into the data that you've got in there. How many rooms on average do people book in the last 12 months? Is it mostly three rooms that people have booked? Is it mostly four rooms? Is it mostly five rooms that people have booked? Like how many rooms is it like in general in your area that's the most popular number that, that people book? What treatments or extras do most people book have been the most popular in the last year? Is it pet treatments? Is it odor treatment? Do people normally go for hallways or stairways? Is it two rooms is the most popular number of rooms they normally add on a, a Scotch guard and a hallway? Like look it up, like you should have the exact data and numbers surrounding all of this stuff inside your CRM. You should be able to say, like literally run a report and say, in the last 12 months, I've had 50 hallways, 27 staircases, you know, 42 upholstery jobs and, and be able to see specifically what the most popular service is, what the most, you know, I've had 453 room jobs, but I've, I've had 300 two room jobs. Should be able to look and be able to pull up those exact precise numbers and see what's the most popular thing in your area and guess what like if you're able to figure out those numbers and that data clearly that's what people want in your area if you book more three room jobs than anything else then guess what that's what people are looking for three rooms if you book more hallways and staircases guess what like most people in your area want hallways over staircases. So if you can, and it might be, there's very little difference between the two, but still, you know, if you've had 290 staircase jobs and 300 hallway jobs, well, there's still a clear winner. That one's, you put 10 more hallways than staircases. So look that data up and see what the most popular thing is. So let's move on then. Step one, okay, tap into what people actually want. So I want you to go into your CRM I want you to go into your booking software and answer the following three questions. How many rooms on average have people booked in the last 12 months is question one. Look it up, write it down. Question two, how many extra areas have been most popular over the last 12 months? Hallways or stairs or something else or upholstery or a love seat or whatever it is. And then question three, what treatments have been the most popular over the last 12 months? Pet treatments, odor treatments, spotting kit, Scotch guard, et cetera, et cetera. Now, what, what I want you to then do is take the answers to these three questions and combine it into one combo. So in this example, this is just purely an example. Yours might be different. It might be three rooms, a hallway, and a pet treatment. That's just my example. You want to write down your three answers to those three questions. And then we're going to move on to step two. Next is add the perceived discount. Now let's take this combo and let's add a price to it. But before you do add a price to it, I want you to think carefully about what discount you, are, you can apply to this to make it feel even more exciting to your future customers. Remember, I am not expecting you to massively slash your prices or undervalue your services, no way at all. But for example, if the hallway was not very big at all, let's say it was like tiny, like just like a little strip, right? You could probably throw it in the mix for free if it was, wasn't very big and you had all of your equipment in the house anyway to do the three rooms. So you could put a caveat under the offer, say, you know, free hallway, maximum square footage of X to cover your ass. Or maybe for example, you know, odor treatments, the most 
popular thing, the most popular chemical treatment in your area. And you know what, maybe you buy it by the gallon so you can do like one room for free at no extra charge, something like that. It doesn't really cost you anything. So you could do like, maybe it's, you know, maybe your area, it's four rooms that are most popular, staircases and odor treatment. So you could do four rooms, a hallway and one free room of odor treatment for just X. So just think about it like that. What's low cost? What's something that you can kind of discount that doesn't really cost you much so that we can create that perceived special offer? You know, and maybe like, for example, on the screen, this comes out at, you know, typical price is like $250 for free rooms, a hallway and pet treatment. Let, let's, I'm just throwing numbers around here as an example. Maybe, you know, you run the numbers on it and you can quite comfortably knock 20, 30 bucks off and you'll still be profitable, right? With that, that you're not slashing your prices in half, giving even 10% off, right? Do you know what I mean? You know, you can still make it work just by giving like a, a little percentage off a little discount. Whatever it is that you can do to create that perceived sort of discount, even if it's not particularly massive, add that to the end of this combo. So in my example, you know, I've said the usual, I've, I'm going to do a free hallway, but there's going to be a sort of like a caveat to the size of that. It would normally cost, just as an example, $250, but you know, I know I can comfortably knock 30 bucks off the price. So let's move on to the next stage. Step three is to build scarcity and fear of missing out. Fear of missing out is a very real thing and you can leverage it in your business to get people off the fence and scheduling a carpet cleaning because they're scared that they're gonna miss out. Here are some popular examples. Offer ends Monday, only 10 slots available. First come, first serve. Offer ends in 30 days, so on and so forth. Now here's the thing, effectively, you know, obviously there's more than 10 slots available. Obviously the offer might not end on Monday. Obviously, do you know what I mean? That you can probably, you know, do more than, 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 than 10 slots, whatever. Again, it's all about perceived scarcity. People use these kind of tricks all the time. It's not unethical as such, like it's not, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, and again, like if you don't do it, somebody else will, period. Probably one of your competitors. So don't be afraid to build some scarcity into your offer. And that scarcity, people see that like, oh my God, like this is a great combo. I don't want to miss out on this. I'm going to hop on it now before it's too late. So if you're not sure, you can always do the offer ends in 30 days. So maybe you're going to run this offer for a month and then maybe you're going to go back for your CRM, look at other popular items and you'll run a different offer in 30 days time. Or you could say offer ends in 30 days and in 30 days time, you could say offer extended for a final 30 days, right? That you can play around with this. So don't be afraid to add some scarcity in there. So here's what I've come up with purely as an example. Be quick. There's only 15 slots available at this special price. First come, first serve. Now, step four, the guarantee and the risk aversion policy. Once again, guarantees and risk aversion policies are the backbone of any major business today, just like special offers. We see it all the time. We see it everywhere. 30 day money back guarantees, you know, if you're not happy, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, the stone, our concrete, you know, unbreakable guarantee to you today is X. I actually, when I started in the carpet, when I started doing digital marketing for, for the carpet cleaning industry, I thought that the pop quite possibly that the vast majority of carpet cleaners for whatever reason didn't offer guarantees. They didn't guarantee their work at all. But I was surprised to find recently when talking to carpet cleaners that actually they do. And actually the vast majority of of carpet and is a great many do offer some level of guarantee. And again, you know, this, like I say, it's the backbone of any business, just like special offers are. And, and if you're not offering a guarantee, then guess what? I imagine your competitors probably are. And because they, they've got one and you don't, and you don't have a special offer, there's a chance they could be stealing your potential customers that you could be getting instead. So if you don't have one, definitely think about it. If you do have one, like many of the carpet cleaners that we work with, then we want to add that to the special offer as well, because not only now do we have an offer that's based on data that people actually want. They're like, oh my God, that's the exact combo that I'm looking for. It's going to appeal to the vast majority of people in your area 
because we tapped into your CRM and saw what the most popular special, what the most popular combo is. Not only have we got, you know, the best offer for your area based on your data, not only do we have, you know, some perceived value, some level of perceived discount, no matter how big or small in there, not only do we have scarcity and fear of missing out built into this offer, but we all, if we can also add in some level of risk aversion, well, shit, now it's going to be the even more powerful. So if you do have a guarantee, let's add that in there as well. So again, I've given a, an example down below. We guarantee that your carpets will look better than they did before, or we'll give you every dollar back. That Again, that's just, just purely an example. So moving on to step five, adding it all together to make the special offer. So we want to combine all of these things, the three most popular items from your CRM, from your scheduler, the perceived discount, the fear of missing out, the scarcity element, and the risk aversion. And we're going to combine all of that together, and that is going to be your special offer. So again, in my example here, again, this is just purely an example, it reads like this, free rooms, plus a free hallway, plus pet treatment for just $220, save $30. Be quick though, only 15 slots available at this special price. First come, first serve. We guarantee that your carpets will look better than they did before, or we'll give you every dollar back. Now, think about this for a minute. Let this sink into the mind for a little bit. There are people out there that have got like, I see ads, I see websites of carpet cleans that are running specials, and it's just so boring, so not exciting. Three rooms, $125. Mm. Three rooms in a hallway you know, $150, whatever it is. And there's not really, you know, it's just, you know, they're just throwing that together. But when you look at something like this, it's got all of the key elements that make a high converting special offer. You've got the free rooms, and plus you're going to get a free hallway and you're going to get a pet treatment. When you combine all that together, psychologically, the perceived value of that, that's a lot of stuff, right? That's a great bundle. And they're getting it for a special price save $30. Now, it's not a huge discount, but it's a discount, right? So you're not like super undercutting yourself or undervaluing yourself as such. It's only a small discount. And the whole way that you're going to do in this example, it's only going to be a small landing strip. You know, it's not going to be some huge thing. And you'll, you can caveat that in the small print or, you know, when you're talking to customers on the phone. Be quick. We've got that scarcity in there as well. Only 15 slots available. First come, first serve. So you're getting those, those people that get that fear of missing out. And then on top of that, there's that risk aversion policy. Now that is a special offer that people are going to take notice of. People are going to sit up and think, wow, the real awesome bit about this is that these three elements here, that make up this special, this combo. This is based on actual real data on your area. The three things that are most popular that we've extracted from your CRM, right? And it's this, that when people see it, because it's going to appeal to the, the most number of people in your area, the vast majority. And so that's where you're going to really see those results as well. And just to kind of give you like a little bit of an example of this, we were working with a carpet cleaner somewhere in California. And we were doing like, I think we were doing some kind of three room special, maybe like three rooms and an odor treatment or something like that for X dollars. And it really wasn't converting and we weren't getting him the results that we would have liked. So we we went through this process that I've just shared with you on this video with him. And it turns out that when he really dug deep into his CRM, that actually it was two rooms that was most popular in his area. There was a lot more apartments than there were like big houses. And so it turns out that the two rooms was where you know, is what, is what most people booked. And it turns out that, you know, it wasn't like odor treatment that was really popular. It was a, it was a hallway, you know, and a spotting key or something else. And so we switched up his offer based on what we found the data in his data in his CRM. And immediately the results were like night and day because now people were seeing an offer that appealed to them, right? They weren't clicking the ad before because they didn't have three rooms. So the offer didn't really make much sense to them. But as soon as we switched it to two rooms, because we knew from the data, that's what most people had. That's when we started to see the results. So by looking it into your CRM, you can really find out, you know, what people want in your area. And by taking these other steps that I've just gone through, really build an offer that's really compelling and gets people clicking, gets people, you know, on the phone, gets your phone ringing and brings in 
uh, tons of jobs, makes money without you having to like really slash your prices or really undervalue yourself. So there we go. Do you know what I mean? I also just want to just remind you guys as well that it is not just about this one job that you've brought in with this special combo or this this holiday deal. You know, you really want to remember the lifetime value of your customer as well. The reality is, is that if you have the right processes and systems for following up with people in, in place, ultimately you can turn this new customer that you brought in on this deal into a repeat business customer, someone that hires you again and again and again and again. And so therefore you might have brought this customer in on a slightly reduced pricing deal that you've put together here. But you know, the next time they schedule with you, the next time, the next time, the next time, you don't necessarily have to give them that deal. You can just give them a quote based on your standard pricing, provided you've done a good job and, and they've had a good experience of working with you. Chances are that they'll hire you again. And so the value of each customer that you generate from this special offer over the next year, over the next two years, could be absolutely massive. It could be huge. So just bear that in mind. And the other thing as well is you've got to remember that there's opportunities to upsell on the job as well right you know you could go somewhere and, and we'll cover this in, in in like another video but you know you could have someone come in on a on a bundle or an offer or a special that you've put together like the one we've just covered and you could easily add an extra hundred couple of hundred dollars to that ticket price when you're in the home and and, and you'll be able to do it ethically as well right like I, I believe that up, again upselling is one of the fundamental pillars of any successful business upselling your customers and there's ways that you can do it without sounding salesy without being unethical or you know bait and switch or anything like that there's proper ways that you can do it and i'll be covering that in a later video as well so if you are discounting your prices somewhat you need to have that right mindset this customer done right will use you again and again and again and actually the value of this customer isn't 220 dollars or 250 dollars over the next couple of years the value of this customer could be a couple of thousand dollars done right and when you get to that home just by simply asking hey do you want me to clean the other two rooms while i'm here just by simply asking that you might be able to raise those prices even on that first job. So just bear that in mind. But ultimately, you now have all the tools that you need to put together a highly converting special offer and, and then use that in your marketing materials, whether that's your Google ads, your Facebook ads, whether that's leaflets, flyers, banners, whatever it is to actually go out there, put it on your website to actually go out there and attract more clients, more business to your carpet cleaning company. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button to be notified when new videos come out. In the next couple of days, I'm gonna be putting out a new video to help carpet cleaners put together their own advertising campaigns so they too can use this special offer and actually start generating jobs from it. So hit the subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, and you're gonna get all the updates as we bring out these new videos. Really looking forward to sharing what we've learned on our journey and helping you, some of you carpet cleaners, to really take things to that next level. Speak to you soon.